bring in the former Republican governor of Arizona, Jan Brewer. Uh, governor, thank you for your time on this Friday afternoon. Uh, in addition to what we just heard in that, that story there, Betsy DeVos is also receiving a fair amount of criticism for her performance in front of the confirmation committee. I want to remind folks what she said. Here it is. I think probably there, I would imagine that there's probably a gun in the school to protect from potential grizzlies. I support accountability. Equal accountability for all schools that receive federal funding. I support accountability. Okay, is that a yes or a no? That's a, I support accountability. Do you not want to answer my question? I support accountability. Okay. Governor, you, you would concede that it was a rocky performance there in, in front of the committee. Do you think that Betsy DeVos is the right choice to fix America's schools? I do. I do. You know, Craig, I got involved in politics because of my children's education. And I think that the mothers and fathers across this country, they want accountability. But more, more than that, they want their kids to be successful. And Betsy cares about all kids. Uh, she's got a tremendous uh, history of, of being very, very supportive of, of, of school choice and vouchers and charters and magnet schools. Did you go to and public school? Every Governor? child fits Did into. I, I did. Did your I kids did. go to public and I, schools? And my children have been in both. Uh, uh, pardon? Your children also went to public school as I well, did. right? I did. Your children, did your children also go to public school? Oh, both. Oh, they, okay. my, my, they, they, they went to both, uh, public and, uh, and private school. You, because of their circumstances, the situation, it, it was better for them, and I was fortunate enough to be able to uh, uh, make a choice. But uh, I will tell you, the brilliant one, uh, the, the smart one, uh, completed all public schools and was very, very successful. Uh, it's because we all want high academic standards and we want consistent standards. Right. And Betsy DeVos will do that. Of your, th you have three children, if I remember correctly. I'm not going to even ask you which I, I, one's I, the brilliant one. So. I, I, I don't want to get you oh. in any trouble. Uh, but you, you, I'm glad you didn't do that you, because then I'd have to be held accountable at home. Right, and we, we do love accountability. Uh, you wrote about the educational challenges that are, that are posed uh, to military families specifically and what you see as a solution. You wrote in part, quote, high quality, rigorous academic standards that are consistent from state to state. So there's no question that when a student transfers, he or she will be at the same place academically as their peers. How do you make that work uh, when, when Mrs. DeVos has said that she really wants to turn over most of the power of curriculum to individual states? Well, I, you know, it's going to be a, a, a standard, I think, which already we know that 43 states already have these high, uh, consistent academic standards. Uh, I grew up on a military base, and I know how difficult it is for our military families to adjust in their children. And when they are so mobile and moving from one state to another state, in some instances, it's, it's from county to county, there's no way to um, have these kids be tested to know if they are moving forward in the manner of which we suspect that they should be moving forward yeah. or to be able to compete uh, amongst that and if they move from one school district and particularly again with the military they move and either their kids move and they are ahead and they're you know they're, they're just wasting their time or they're behind and they can never catch up and it is so important and it's affecting our military we all know and believe that we need to take care of our military people our um, Men and women that are over there, uh, uh, you know, working for us and have given up their sure. their private life to serve us publicly, and they make their decisions based on uh, a lot of them uh, based on their kids' academic uh, uh, advancement, Governor, and they do not want to stay in the military if their kids aren't going to get a good education, Gov and we need that consistent, constant academic uh, testing so that our kids. Uh, so parents know where their kids are. Governor, I want to ask you about Obamacare while I have you here. Some key Republicans, as you know, uh, seem to be perhaps breaking ranks on this idea of repealing uh, the Affordable Care Act part and parcel. Washington Post reporting this morning that two Republican senators, Utah's Orrin Hatch, uh, Tennessee's Lamar Alexander, now open to fixing Obamacare before they even consider repealing funding from Obamacare. Um, you work to expand uh, Arizona's Medicaid program with funding from Obamacare. Do you agree that something needs to remain in place before Republicans in Washington repeal the whole thing? 
well, I, you know, not having been there in Congress and making those decisions, but knowing as a governor of the state of Arizona, uh, it's going to be a huge task, and uh, not to have something in place um, at the point in time they decide to uh, uh, pull the rug out from underneath some of these people is going to be very, very difficult. I feel very, very strongly in our Medicaid program in Arizona. Uh, we were the last state to join uh, in in Medicaid, and every state is different. And so I am concerned about just exactly what direction they're going to take. Uh, we do a capitated form here, and they keep talking about block grants. And so it's going to affect each and every state uh, totally and completely uh, differently. And so when you're dealing with 50 different states, States and hundreds of people that need that care. Um, yeah. uh, you know, I, 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 they need to move very, very cautiously, I believe. Governor Jan Brewer, former governor of Arizona. Governor, always good to see you. Thank you for your time. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.